Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um uh, yo yo yo, we got Snoop's daughter man, and what's going on with her? You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, we also got uh, we got I love, love, love. we got we got Sweetie being called out for claiming that women are running rap. Right? Uh, we got Kanye West talking about the feds and how they trying to get a man locked up. Man, Will Smith talking about the uh Chris Rock uh jump off. Um, who else we got over here, man? We got yo. Yo, we got Quando Rondo getting into it and Lil Tim being at the scene, man. So you know how that can go, man. Again, thanks for tuning in to the Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you're feeling any part of the content. Hey, yo, we definitely appreciate that, all right? That notification bell's waiting for your tap, man. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that, too, all right? Hey, yo, man, let's get right to it. Yo, look, 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 look. I was on, I was on the gram, right? And um, uh, I, I bumped into this joint um, by GMAC. Cash, okay, GMAT Cash. I, you need to check this out real quick because this is a real illustration. snitching going on out there in these streets you see what i'm saying that's that's really what it's like so i don't even know why snitching is even an issue when most of these artists are running around snitching on themselves and everybody else anyway you know what i'm saying uh never mind that check this out man for this footage for the, footage has surfaced of quando rondo putting the paws on someone in a clothing store man you're like yo i was just trying to buy some clothes yeah i know man and, and you can catch it over there too you know what i'm saying uh source you might have to blur the hits but uh maybe post little tim um pulling him off real quick uh y'all take a look at this insanity real quick yeah see that man see that's crazy man because little tim was there and contrary to what some believe little tim did not just up the blicky you know what I'm saying? But he pulled Quando off of the dude, showing us all that Lil Tim did not default to, you know what I'm saying? Putting like, you know, two into you. You know what I mean? The man selected different options f than for when like, you know, Vaughn fought Quando. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the thing, man. Here's the main difference. The main difference is this. Vaughn looked like he had the upper hand. And in this vid, Quando looked like he got the drop on dude. Now, we don't know why this happened yet, but this ain't it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if the dude started with Quando Rondo knowing that um, <laughs> Lil Tim was standing right there, like, <laughs> like that's a whole, that's a whole lot, man. Matter of fact, I'm starting to sweat over here. Let me take off my, let me take off my sweater. Check this out, man. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, come on, like Quando Rondo, like I thought you was. I mean, he's a celebrity, ain't he? Ain't he doing his like his music thing? Like, why is he even fighting people, man, in a clothing store? That's weird. Anyway, uh, Will Smith is back out here letting us know. Well, let me make sure the co the coast is clear. I don't want Will Smith jumping out and clapping my behind. Uh, Will Will Smith is back out here letting us know that his new film Emancipation is set to drop on December second. <laughs> ain't that ain't that Friday? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's Friday. Look, 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 look. Ain't it odd though that it's called Emancipation, as in free? Look, I just watched Men in Black 3 uh, over the weekend, which I love because it involves multiple timelines and time travel. I love stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the titles of his films and, and his projects are interesting, though. You know what I mean? Men in Black, Bad Boys, Fresh Prince. 
Emancipation? Consider this sentence. I will emancipate my hands and leave fresh prints on a bad boy. <laughs> and, and folks, including parents, just won't understand. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my bad. Will Smith, who I love, mind you, is promoting his film Emancipation. And he discussed the infamous slap heard around the world uh, with Trevor Noah. And yo, take a listen. And, and complexities to it, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, I just, I lost it, you know? And I guess what I would say, you just never know what somebody's going through, you know? Mm. You know, in the, in the audience right now, you know, you're sitting next to uh, strangers, you know? And somebody's mother died last week, you know? Um, somebody's child is sick. You know, um, somebody just lost their job. Somebody just found out their spouse cheated. You know, there's, it's like there's all these things and these, there's strangers and you just don't know what's going on with people, you know? And there's, I was going through something that night, you know? And uh, not that that, you know, justifies my behavior yeah, at all. No, no, I would just say, you know, you're asking what did I learn? And it's that, um, we just got to be nice to each other, man. You know, it's like, it's hard. And I guess the thing that was most painful for me is I took my heart and made it hard for other people. You know, right. and it's like, I understood the idea where they say hurt people hurt people, Yeah, yeah. you know, and it's like, you know, it's, it's interesting. All right. Now, um, hopefully that joint played, um, uh, but, but if it didn't, he said, quote, that was a horrific night, as you can imagine. There's many nuances and complexities to it, but at the end of the day, I just, I, I just lost it. I guess what I would say, you just never know what somebody's going through. I was going through something that night. Not that it justifies my behavior at all. I would just say, you're, um, you're asking what I did learn. It, is that we just got to be nice to each other, man. It's like, I understand the idea that hurt people hurt people. <laughs> if anyone understand that, man, you, you know it's got to be Chris Rock. I mean, what what he said, though, was real talk, man, because you really don't know what someone is going through. In fact, what he said really made a whole lot of sense. This person's getting a divorce. That one um, lost their grandmother. That one is ugly. That one's got this issue with their spouse or what have you. Like, you never know what an individual is going through, man. So what he said is facts, man. Well, what I found most crazy about that situation, though, is when he did that, right, everyone ran right past Chris Rock and hugged Will Smith like, bro, you okay? I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, this world is confusing, man. Ain't, ain't it hard to gauge? <laughs> Chris Rock got the ish slapped out of him and everybody ran right past him like, yo, Will, you all right, man? You good? You good, bro? I was like, damn, man. Anyway, um, uh, Kanye West has shown up on the, what is it, Tim Cast IRL podcast uh, with his homeboy, uh, site will premises Nick Fuentes, okay? And Kanye stated, quote, this is what he said. He said, um, I'm talking about literally find, this is what he said concerning the feds. He said, I'm talking about literally finding out that they were trying to put me in prison this morning. But I found out that they froze and put us, uh, they froze my account, they put a $75 million hold on four of my accounts. And then they said, you owe a lot of taxes. Took me like six hours to find out how much. <laughs> You're like, well, how much was it? The amount was for 50 million, which is crazy, okay? now. In that same interview, Kanye was speaking on the pushback he received from the media after making his DEF CON 3 statements. You know what I'm saying? Uh, take a listen to what he said. The fact that they tried to lock me up. That's what it, because every time I'm just holding stride and it's like, I didn't, I thought I was more Malcolm X, but I find out I'm more MLK because as I'm getting hosed down every day by the press and financially, I'm just standing there. And when, when I found out that they tried to put me in jail, it was like a dog was biting my arm and I, 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 I almost shed a tear, almost, but I still walked in stride through it. Yeah. I, I, think, I think they've been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who was they though? We can't Cor tell you they is, can press. we? press. I'm not using the, I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use, I'm, I'm talking about- It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because, <laughs> no. and, and because when you think <laughs> about not. it, consider it, in 2018- What do you mean it's not? It, what, what do I mean like, uh, uh, okay, so how about, are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? 
Now, I don't know if you picked that up, right? But they said they were unfair to you. Kanye asks, who is they? And the host is like, I'm not saying who they are. The other person says, uh, uh, corporate press. It's then stated, it is them. Kanye goes, it is them though, isn't it? Now, he's not talking about corporate press. You know who he's talking about. He said, it is them though, isn't it? And the host says, no. At that point, Kanye walks out on some, if you can't admit that I was blackballed or canceled, then ain't no need to have any further discussion. You know what I'm saying? Which I guess is the same position that folks take when they say, if you can't admit, admit that the Holocaust happened, ain't no need to continue this discussion either. You know what I'm saying? Look, lots of folks don't have time for the shenanigans with people. You know what I mean? Certain things are just blatant parts of history. Like if you are denying like stuff like the Holocaust, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, what the hell kind of history book is you is you reading from? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like some people they really st still struggle with that. Let me do my shoutouts real quick. Let me do my shoutouts real quick, man. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling I'm feeling like a short day today. Yeah, it might be short. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what it'll be? Check this out, man. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Let me give this to you. Let me give this to you real quick. <laughs> this is not funny. It's not funny. A hunter was shot dead by his own dog. After the dog stepped on the trigger of a loaded shotgun while he was packing up. <laughs> hey, yo, man. <laughs> Ain't Look, when I read this, man, it, it hit me very hard. It be on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't it be on? Uh, shout out to William Hinton. My man said, yo, this almost brought a tear to my eye. My man said, yo, um, celeb source. My man said, what's that? Where's that music coming from? Okay. Uh, my man said, uh, much love, Celeb. Um, I got off of drugs by staying in my room and watching your videos. You a true dude, bro. Much pof. I said, much pof? Well, much love to you, bro. But yo, 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 that meant a lot to me, man. Like, that damn near brought, up, brought a tear to my eye, man. I really do. Um, yo, that, that, that meant a lot, man. I appreciate you even letting me know that, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yo, man, if, if Celeb Source helped you get through the day, man, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, like, you know what I'm saying? Um... You know, I don't know. Hit us with a like or something. Hit us with an emoji or something. Hit us with a crazy emoji. You know what I mean? A wave emoji. You know what I'm saying? Uh, check this out, man. Carrie Noteman came through and said, Yo, sadly, Takeoff's murder has traumatized his family and friends to the highest power, and laying them down to rest is not even the beginning of their lifelong um, social, emotional, intellectual, and physical pain and uh, uh, sorrow, etc. Um, that is per his permanent. A oh, man. His permanent absence will have left on the rest of their lives like an indelible whatchamacallit you know what i mean and then she said and um there is nothing in this world that can compensate them for takeoff having been robbed of his life setting prayers protection and uh, comfort to your uh your family and friends hey yo man what kerry said is real talk man and i really feel like that's what it was it was a robbery of his life you know what i mean his, he was robbed of his life uh zay brown is, is a brand um said yo man they used to call me crazy joe now you can call me batman yo we need more crazy joe principles of the school system you'll be surprised what you see in our youth um that old granddaddy respect if you bring that old granddaddy respect back in their life and i'm still waiting on my shout out hey yo zay brown shout out to you yo that's real talk man believe it or not like kids crave discipline they want someone to tell to tell them you know what i'm saying like that yo like they want somebody to check them trust me even when I ask kids about stuff like that, you know, I asked, I had 11 grade students. I asked them, I said, let me, let me ask you a question. Uh, would you like for your, your mom to put your clothes out every, every night before you, you know, for you for the next day? Them kids told me, yes, they were 16, 17, 18 years old. Some of them was even 19. You're like, damn, 19 year old, 11 grade. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what your kids are like. Hey, yo, man, um, I want to give a shout out to Zaire, man. Yeah, yeah, Spook Johnson's uh, grandson, Zaire, man. Yo, shout out to the big man. My man turned seven years old today. A huge, se yo, seven is my favorite number, man. You know what I'm saying? Zaire, you just hit my favorite number, big dog. You know what I'm saying? Keep holding it down, man. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to you, Spook. Uh, Hotbox LLC said, yo, man, the show is dynamic. It's become my, my daily vibe, even on the weekends, man. I like to commend the whole team. On a blessed, beautiful process, man. Um, yo, my man, yeah, my man gave a shout out, you know, like as a teacher, man. Hey, yo, man, shout out to the celeb source team, man. They be putting it on, you know, they be doing the hard work. I, I know that lady just hit that car. I know you hit the car, lady. I'm about to take a picture of your license, but you lucky I'm recording. I can't screenshot. Or I can't, you know, take a picture. Anyway, um, uh, visually astounding said, yo, what's two and no for the year mean? He got away with body and two people this year. 
You're visually astounding. I was thinking the same thing. I was like, what do you mean by two and no? I was like, I know he ain't saying that he bodied two people. Yo, if that man bodied two people, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you saw yesterday's video, if he bodied two people, may they, oh yeah, he did. She did hit the car. Yeah, she hit your car, lady. Yep. And she drove off. That's a hit and run. I don't care if she's 80. You know what I mean? Get her. My bad, my bad, my bad. But I just saw a hit and run. That's a crime. I should jump out the car and be like, yo, you want some help? Nah, nah, nah I ain't gonna do that, man. You know what I mean? I'm gonna mind my business, man. Anyway, check this out. Uh, I love, love, love Sweetie, man. Let's wrap this bad boy up because I gotta go pick some folks up, man. Check this out, man. We reported to you the other day that Sweetie uh, said the fellas are cuffing up hip hop with murder, murder, gun, kill music. You know what I'm saying? They be twerking their guns in the video and the whole nine, y'all. As a result, the women are now, she, she said, as a result of the murder, murder, gun, gun music, um, the women are now running hip hop. Damn near three days later, her, her streams per sale, her sales per stream, whatever the word is, it came out. And uh, it bombed at nuclear levels of 2,000 streams per sale. Okay, um, look, I get make, I get paid more than that as a teacher, man. You know what I'm saying? Like having 2,000 sales per streams is wild because she has like 10 million subs, man. You know what I mean? Like like followers or whatever you want to call it, man. Which makes me question whether the subs are even genuine. You know what I'm saying? The artist J. Breezy provided a response to what Saweetie said. You like? I'm sorry, who? Don't do that. You know what I mean? You know damn well who J. Dot Breezy is. You like, nah, but I you, you know damn well who he is. And if you don't know, remember J. Dot said this. He said, uh, quote, okay, we rap violence, but y'all music basically encourage women to only date men for money and put price tags on your cat. So we all effed up, to be honest. Y'all ain't making it no better than the males. Close quote. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did that man essentially say women encourage women encourage women to peddle prostitution? <laughs> this ninja right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, <laughs> he's razor sharp with it. Real talk. L let me get this straight. The definition of the word prostitution, according to Britannica, is the practice of engaging in relatively indiscriminate sexual activity, in general with someone who is not a spouse or a friend, in exchange for immediate payment in money or other valuables. Is that what a lot of these women rappers promote? Men glorify murder. Women glorify indiscriminate sexual activity with someone who is not a spouse in exchange for immediate payment in money or other valuables. So men in hip hop glorify murder and women in hip hop glorify prostitution. Men who sleep around are offering their leftovers to women and women who sleep around are offering leftovers to men. And look, you can't only blame them because we who stream it and play it are equally bad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> saying that we like, <laughs> we approve of it and we make it popular when we stream it. <laughs> so technically, it's like, you trash too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like, well, you trash too, celeb. You be reporting on this stuff. Hey, look, hey, look. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to look at it psychologically. You know what I mean? I'm trying to look at this whole situation psychologically, what these artists are doing and how it should be addressed and dealt with. You know what I mean? I mean, I could do that. I could talk about that. You like, well, you just like us because we're doing the same thing. Okay, okay, fine. We're all in the same boat. And finally, yeah, I don't know how long this video is going to be. Check this out, man. Congratulations uh, to, uh, is, are in order to Snoop's daughter, who recently got engaged to Wayne Deuce. You know what I'm saying? I, I believe that's his name, man. Which means Snoop just received a new son, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to love, man. Now, folks have um, quite a lot of things to say on Snoop's daughter. On our last video that we did, um, I did not love all the things that they were saying. Check this out, man. Someone made a very interesting statement regarding Snoop's daughter, okay? They said, um, and, and this is like, I gotta see if I can pull up the post. Ah, here we go. So the person said, Wait, wait, come on, can you pull it out though? I, th I think I get it. All right, that says, uh, her name is Patriona Jones. She said, women hate having feelings of jealousy over a woman they deem themselves to be more attractive than. Did you get what she just said? Women hate having feelings of jealousy over a woman they deem themselves to be more attractive than. A perfect example of this is the sheer harassment Snoop's dog, uh, Snoop Dogg's daughter Corey Broadus receives regarding her relationship with Wayne. The women screaming, he's with her for the money, are saying that for their own ego. They can't stand it. After all, they're skinnier, nicer body, longer hair, greater sex appeal. And yet no man has ever loved them out loud. 
No man has ever loved them healthily. No man has ever connected with their soul and wanted to marry them. I said, damn. You know what I'm saying? I dropped everything that I had in my hand. You know what I mean? She, she, uh, they, she said, and so they cannot accept the love that Corey receives as being genuine. It directly insults their very way of existing. They can't accept that beauty ain't everything and their dark souls stick out more blatantly than their BBL. Well, beauty may be currency, but in their world, where beauty is and will always be so easily purchased, I guess along with Kitty, um, it eventually loses value and things like personality, integrity, like ability, character becomes a rating pillar. Corey is so authentic. She can be a bombshell every day with her makeup on, but she chooses to be natural, even though she knows the people on the internet will bully her for it. That woman has guts. She has audacity and her engagement is well-deserved. Plus adding, he is very lucky to have her. Go Corey, go. I said, damn, Patriana Jones. Let me see if I can zoom in on your pick. Never mind all that. Uh, what she said was real talk. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah, character, character means a lot. Confidence means a lot. Confidence looks attractive. And character looks attractive. There are a lot of women that you can see that look great, but they just worry. They just focus on the outside and they don't really deal with the inside. There are men out there like that, too. You know what I'm saying? They might look like, you know what I mean? Like they might look, you know what I'm saying, handsome and whatnot. And they they, they look exactly like what, the, like what women like to see in, on Instagram. But then their personalities be trash, man. They be, they, you know, they <laughs> they're available to every woman that just wants to, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, nah, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Um, it's all about your character and your personality, man. And are you enhancing somebody else's life? Let me tell you right now, man. If you ain't an enhancement to someone else's life, you know what I mean? You need to go in and get out their life. Real talk, man. Don't be a burden to another individual's life, man. If you ain't bringing and making the joint better, then you making it worse. I'm telling you like what it is. And if that's your spouse, well, you're stuck with them. You know what I mean? If, look, if that's your spouse... You got to help them help you. You know what I mean? But if it ain't your spouse, man, and you ain't making the joint better, then you only making it worse. You know what I mean? Um, uh, yo, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. And hey, yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source. Celeb News.